Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are taking a look at a little bit of a different comparison, I guess you could say, for the lack of a better term. This is Breon Ansley at the 2022 Arnold's Classics Command Get to the Chapa, and on the other side of the token, his opponent this week is Derek Lunsford, your 212 champion. This is him at the 2021 Master Olympia, and... Yes, I understand. Breon is a men's classic physique division competitor, former Olympia champion, I might add. And Derek's 212. So why am I doing this? For those of you who follow bodybuilding, diehards, things of that nature, you guys know why I'm doing this. Breon Ansley has announced that this will be his last year in the classic physique division. So he will, in fact, be stepping over to the 212. I wouldn't necessarily call it a step up or a step down. I think they're, you know, with the with the rising success of the men's classic physique division, I think it is very close to the 212. As far as the popularity, may even be more popular. Although, personally, I love 212. I don't know why 212 gets such a bad rap lately. Anyway, guys, Breon Ansley, like I said, he's done with classic. He's jumping to 212. And how's he going to do? You might as well throw him right against, right up against the champion. Because, well, Breon's the former Olympia champion in the classic physique. I'm sure he will be switching to a division to gain equal success. I'm sure he's switching over because he's he's starting to place third and fourth. Things like that. So, anyway, guys, he's obviously on a weight cap. Could be a salary cap, too. He's 180. And this is what he is here. Derek Lunsford, I'm sure he is close to 212. He's massive. I don't see too many guys out there much bigger. Maybe Flex Lewis in his prime might have been a couple of pounds bigger, so may maybe he could be 210. But, I mean, this is a huge difference, guys. This is a massive difference. Lunsford is huge huge and Breon went on he, he he posted a video on his youtube channel making the announcement and he was talking about how he has to cut down to 180 and not only it takes the size away he says he wants to be at that sweet spot 193 4 5 195 pounds maybe 193 and not only will he have more size which he needs in this comparison guys i'll be honest but he says he's going to have a lot more pop. Wow. To his muscles. And already, those arms, those guns. <laughs> look at Derek's lats. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's have a look at another shot. And oh my goodness. Derek is as big as a house at 212. So even if Breon Ansley is able to pack on Another 13, 14, 15 pounds. Is that even going to be enough? Well, it doesn't sound like a whole lot on paper. But 15, 13, 14, 15 pounds of good quality muscle on these guys. No fat, keep in mind. That's a lot of muscle. Now, it is hard to size these guys. Close to being the same height. Breon, taller, plus hair, taller, plus hair, plus another plus here. He stands taller. He comes from the classic physique division. He t is he going to stand like this? Is this going to be his stance in the 212? I don't know. That could be his stance on things. He's going to have to pack on that muscle, and it will be interesting to see. Definitely will be doing another comparison between these two dudes. You know, after he does enter the 212. Hey, it could be at the Olympia. He's former champion, right? In the classic? Does that get him an automatic... Uh... Ticket to the Olympia in the 212? Huh? Huh? That was the argument about Flex Lewis in the open class. Go to the back shot, because this is a... This could be a telling tale as well. Now, Derek... He, he's winning, guys. He's winning. There is no doo doo boo doo No doubt about it at all. A beat? About? How do you guys say it in the States? The United States of America? About? Anyway. Anyway. Um, Breon, he was talking about how he was going to get to a much higher weight. So he's going to have a little bit more size. 
for sure, for sure. And not only that, he was very specific about that pop. The muscle fibers are going to be just a popping wow. So, can he catch Derek? Mm, I don't think anybody could catch Derek. He's a beast. He's a beast. And a very aesthetic one at that. I mean, even in an abs and thigh shot, I see Derek Lunsford taking this one. Supremely. I don't know if Breon Ansley, even with that extra weight, he's going to be able to take Lunsford. But you never know until you see that little bit of extra weight on Breon. In particular, the judges, in particular, I should say, the judges that have been looking at Breon Ansley for years. If they see a little bit of extra mass and things of that nature, and if he does improve on his conditioning, or at least the, it looks like it is, because he has more pop, more wow, able to, you know, relax, eat a little bit more. I mean, the cuts in the legs already devastating on Breon Ansley. But still, guys, Derek, he might even be a more dangerous opponent than Chris Bumstead. In fact, I think he would defeat Chris Bumstead if he had to cut down to classic weight. Lunsford. That's another story. It would probably hurt his pop, his wow. But with that tiny little wee waist, he still would be a he still would be able to compete. I think. I think he would. Hey, a champion's a champion. And you could say the same thing about Breon Ansley if he goes up. I mean, it's hard to say, guys. Is this the right decision? He's been chasing Chris Bumstead. He he obviously I I don't think he's gonna catch him. I don't think anybody's going to catch Chris Bumstead for years to come. But it's going to be equally difficult to catch a Derek Lunsford. But I think with the structure that your Breon Ansley has, I think with his structure and his, you know, room to play now with weight, they can eat a little bit more and, you know, like I said, room to play with the muscle mass, things of that nature. I think he would have a better chance of catching Derek Lunsford than he ever would of catching Chris Bumstead in the men's classic, considering he had to cut down, and it really hurt his physique. Anyway, guys, that's just my two cents on it. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit thumbs up. Have a great day.